I'm Jonathan Robinson and this is Fred Buzz. Welcome back to the Fred Buzz. It's been a few weeks. Sorry we have we have been crazy busy here at the shop putting out other different videos and working on getting in new guitars. Uh, production seems like maybe it's starting to come back a little bit. We just got like 20 Taylor guitars the other day. So if you follow the rest of our videos, check that out. Go check out our inventory. If you've never been uh, to the Fret Buzz before, the Fret Buzz is the show where I pick my top five YouTube videos and guitar them for the week and put them out there for you guys so that you don't have to spend hours searching through YouTube for things. Um, so that being said, let's dive right into this week's top five videos. Number one is a brand new channel to me. Um, I just came across it randomly in my feed. It's a guy by the name of David Brewster, I believe. The channel is called Late Night Lessons. He has a whole series where he does these, um, these things and he calls them chord play. And it'll be the chords of whatever band or artist or guitar player or like three licks in the style of this person or that person. The most recent one is the chords of Mr. Big, which I thought was fantastic. So uh, if you are a Paul Gilbert fan, you dig that music, this is a fantastic lesson. Um, he's a good teacher. He's a great player. They're fairly low fi It's just him kind of sitting there showing you what to do, but he's clear and concise. Um, I got a lot out of the few that I watched, things that I'm going to immediately steal and put in my own playing um, from, from artists that I, that I enjoy. Um, so check out Late Night Lessons with David Brewster. Uh, this, this video that I'm going to link today is Chord Play, The Chords of Mr. Big. So some really cool things in there, no matter what style of music you play. Uh, number two, pretty big channel. Um, it's a pretty big shop, actually, and they are not in America. They are in the UK. Baxter and I did a video about one of this, this shop not too long ago. We were talking about our favorite shops in, in the UK, um, and it's, it's Peach Guitars. So I don't know if you watch the Peach Guitars channel, but Jack at Peach Guitars is a fantastic player. He's a great demo artist. Um, I watch a lot of their videos just to see him play. Uh, this one was particularly fun because I thought it was a little outside the realm of normal for him. It is called Metallica, A Tale of Two Tones. Um, he's going through the tones of Kirk Hammett and James Heffield from, from Metallica um, and sort of both eras of them, like their gear, the guitars they're using, uh, how to get those tones. I've never seen Jack play anything like this. He's playing Flying V's and, you know, sort of kind of metal guitars. He gets great tones, he dissects how to get those different Metallica sounds, how they all blend together, and it's just kind of fun. Um, it's sort of, it's probably one of the more fun videos that I have seen from Peach. Not that they're not fun, just that, you know, they tend to do fairly straight ahead demos, great plan, that's their thing, they're super classy, so it's, it's fun to see them just kind of having a blast with something and, uh, and a playing around. Um, so check that out, Metallica, A Tale of Two Tones, Peach Guitars, you'll thank me. It is enjoyable. And if you love Metallica also, and you're trying to get those tones, even added, added bonus. Um, but it is fun either way. Now, when we did our UK uh, guitar shop videos, like the places we like to go there, and, and we talked about Peach Guitars and Anderton's Guitars, and you know who, which one we'd rather go to, and... The, the sort of consensus was that we want to go to both places. They're both awesome for slightly different reasons. But we love Andertons, and Andertons, I don't think I've ever featured them on the Fret Buzz before either. So it seemed only right because they came out with a fantastic video this week too. That's nothing new for them. They have fantastic videos all the time. This one is the captain and Danish Pete, who we love. Uh, and the name of the video is How to Get Awesome Valve Tones. That's two tones for us, us Americans. Uh, at home. Two notes versus the Yamaha TRH2. So if you watch the Anderson's channel, you know that for a long time they have loved those little Yamaha TRH amps. Um, that's been their favorite little tabletop sort of sort of practice amp. Um, they use it for a ton of things um, for, for a long time. Um, but they're trying to figure out, can they do better with studio monitors? And I believe it's the Torpedo, the Two Notes Audio Torpedo Captor X. Uh, which does some fantastic things. It's a low box, it's um, an attenuator, it does all these cool things uh, for your tube amps. It can, I think it has cab sim stuff built in. I won't go into too much depth, 
um, because hopefully you will watch the video and you'll hear them say all these things. But it is very interesting seeing how they're able to get some of the tones they get from this tiny setup and these tiny little studio monitors. It sort of makes me want to rig like that for my little studio at home. Um, because honestly, it sounds pretty, pretty darn fantastic. Uh, so check that out. You might be surprised at which sound you like the most, whether it's the Yamaha or the two notes uh, with an actual tube amp. Um, either way, you learn some cool things, you hear some cool playing, you hear some great tones. The Captain and Danish Pete are always a good time. So check that out. Um, video number three this week. Uh, it is Long Black Veil Country Slide Guitar Cover by a guy named Justin Johnson. Now, if you have never heard of Justin Johnson, he, he's sort of um, been a rising star on YouTube for a while. He plays fantastic slide guitar. I remember back in the day, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, there's videos of him playing this like uh, custom, it's like a shovel with a string on it and a pickup and he's playing slide on it and all kinds of things like that. I believe he used to do the thing where he played uh, guitar, like slide guitar on his lap with a flask too, but sort of all things slide and, and resonator guitars, um, he, he seems to sort of be a master of. Um, so check him out. It is a fantastic video. It's a fantastic cover. I think he re he says, well, he doesn't say it, it's in the description, that he heard this song like a, a um, Jerry Garcia cover of this, this song, um, kind of thought it was cool, and then later heard the Johnny Cash version, fell in love with it, and here's his take on it. It's just fantastic slide playing. He's so good at what he does. Um, it's just it's just fun to watch, man. So I like putting good performances in the fret buzz, things that I feel like are inspiring, and they inspire me to want to go pick up my guitar and play. Um, and this definitely does that. So check him out, check out that. He's also doing a giveaway on his channel. There's another video that I'll link as well that just says, I'm giving away this guitar to a subscriber. Um, so he's giving away a pretty cool, like a custom whiskey barrel guitar, uh, sort of like, uh, this is the same people who built one of the guitars he plays, I guess this is his, one of his main electric guitars. Really cool Tele style uh, deal going on there. Um, so watch that video, subscribe to his channel and figure out how to get entered in that. Maybe you will win it. Good luck. Um, if you do, I expect a shout out when you're, when you're showing it off online. Um, so yeah, Justin Johnson, check him out. Great playing. All his videos are fantastic. Uh, another guy who I'm relatively new to, I've seen his videos before for whatever reason, or, or, you know, seen them, I scroll by them. Never really caught my eye before or sparked too much interest. No fault of, of his or his channels. You know, sometimes you just you just kind of scroll by things, but lately I have clicked on a couple of his videos um, and I'm glad I did. I really enjoy the information and I enjoy his sort of dry sense of humor. Um, he's pretty hilarious. His name is Uncle Ben or Ben Eller. Um, and he has all kinds of cool, cool videos. Um, and they're just great. They're great teaching videos on all sorts of things. He he has a lot of the videos about like why you suck at guitar, like you suck at the guitar because you don't know the minor scale or you don't know this or blah, whatever it is. But this week's video is mastering new techniques in your guitar playing. It's an interesting video because you're seeing some cool concepts. He's teaching you some things. It's a new concept for him. So he's talking about how he internalizes and masters new guitar concepts. I think that is important for every player. I see all the time in my lessons where kids or, well, kids, adults, whoever, they get frustrated uh, because it takes them, you know, months or, or, or weeks or sometimes longer than months uh, to, to get a new thing, whether it's song or complicated phrasing or lick or technique. So anytime you can listen to advanced players or, or great players that, that you admire talk about their process of, of building new techniques and internalizing new things and learning new things, even just learning songs, that is such a good skill for, for guitar players and new guitar players and people who are aspiring to play professionally or semi-professionally. I think it's absolutely fantastic. So he's walking you through that in this video. He's also talking about Troy Grady, who is the guy, and I have to include him in a fret buzz video before long, where he puts the cameras up and uh, sort of dissects people's picking hands. Um, usually like shredders, but he's done Albert Lee and country guys too. Just people with great, great right hands, how you can play uh, their styles and their technique, really broken down in a scientific way. So I guess Ben was watching Troy Grady videos, 
came across one where he's talking about Frank Gamball and some of his like sweeping techniques and economy picking. And this video is all about how he internalized that and sort of added it to his playing. Super cool video. I learned a ton. Um, just about ways to think about practice, ways to think about mastering new techniques, and about uh, this this exercise, you know, picking technique that he's talking about. So check that out. Fantastic video. Um, the jam track of the week is a hard rock backing track in E minor. It is from Masanori Usumi. I am sure I said that wrong, so I apologize. But guitar backing tracks, there will be a link in the description. It's a super fun jam. It is a hard rock, but there's a banjo in there at one point. I've already posted mine on my Instagram. Definitely on my Instagram and Facebook. I think I put it on YouTube. Remember, if you jam on the backing track, make sure to hashtag the fret buzz. Casino Guitars, Jonathan Robinson Music. That way I'll be able to find it and can give you a shout out if it's uh, particularly fantastic. Uh, thanks so much for watching the Fret Buzz this week. Thanks for watching our channel. Remember, if you are a bearded guitar player like me, check out uh, thebeardstruggle.com. Use my discount code JRMUSIC15 for 15% 15 off everything in their online store. Uh, and again, thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe. Make sure to smash the bell so that you see all of our new notifications for our new videos. We constantly have new, new stuff and new demos coming out. Thanks again. Have a great rest of your week. I'll see you next week for the Fret Buzz.